Okay, so next halacha, number 22. It is of primary importance that tefillin uh, be worn at the minimum, at minimum during the recitation of Shema and Shmona Esra. Okay, so we're going to get to it. Um, one should, so that, that, that's minimum requirement, Shema and Shmona Esra. One should recite Shema um, and does not wear, t- uh, one who, who recites Shema and does not wear his tefillin uh, at the time without cause, and in, uh, well, he had feeling he decided like to do without it. Is considered as testifying falsely. Rachas uh, 14b. Why? <clears throat> he testifies the commander of don't fill in with his recitation of the Shema, but he asks uh, if the commander does not uh, obligate him. I mean, he say in the Shema we said the, we say about fill in, but he does not fill in. No, right? That's a big problem. The proper mode of prayer. Uh, in um, just a second, in in which uh, one also accepts upon himself the uh, authority of heaven, is also fulfilled while wearing tefillin. Okay, so basically, so if he, if he does not have tefillin, I don't know for whatever reason of his sick, he does not feel well and he whatever he cannot, he's weak, cannot put tefillin and he wants just wants to do shema, so there is no problem. There is exception, but if he's too lazy, or for example, he he came in and uh, the congregation start praying, that uh, would be an issue. Okay, I mean if if he's late to show. So let's see. The parameters of the of the obligation third fill in in these times and the in the subject of this seed. Okay, so let's see. So now we're going to go to all of the different situations. A person who does not have fill in, and the congregation is praying. Find, um, finds himself in the following predicament. If he prays now, he will have fulfilled the obligation to pray uh, with the congregation. Right? We have this, uh, when uh, we spoke about this importance of pray with congregation, right? But we will, uh, he will not have the rec- recited Shema uh, and Shemona Esther when filling. On the other hand, if he waits to, uh, to, to pray for a time when he cannot but but on the other hand, if he w- waits to pray for a time when uh, he cannot give, where, where he can borrow feeling, he will have missed the praying with the congregation. In this case, it is better to wait until after congregation has completed prayers to borrow feeling from another. Right? It's contrary to intuitive, right? Um, so that uh, he can recite Shema and Shmon Esther while wearing feeling. Then to, to pray with the congregation without fill-in. So it's better to wait and pray with fill-in. For example, so he's going to borrow with somebody who is praying now. He's, and he's going to finish Shmona uh, Esra. He's going to give him fill-in. Fill so it's better for him to wait. However, on uh, one who is afraid that the time in which one must recite Shema might pass before he finds fill-in, uh, should rather recite Shema without feeling. But, I mean, uh, the guidance is very clear. So let me read the commentary and we're going to explain. This includes uh, its accompanying blessing. Meaning, uh, according to Mishnah Brura, one should also recite Shmona Esra at this time. So basically, so as, especially in the morning, and we, we're going to learn about it, that you have to um, join uh, the the last blessing of the Shema, which, which is talking about uh, uh, redemption from uh, from Egypt, with the Shema Nesra. It should be like Goal Israel, so it should be, an, and he start praying, like uh, without any interruption. So if if he afraid that, um, <clears throat> that the time, that the latest time, if you have uh, my money, if you need, if you not, you have to install MyMoney.com application. So and it uh, shows you the the latest time for Shema. So if if he needs I don't know he needs slow whatever he needs seven minutes let's say seven minutes to complete Shema with a, with a blessing. So he like uh, he has to, and he sees that uh, it's not enough time. So he starts without tefillin, and then uh, later on he can repeat Shema with tefillin. There is no problem. The first time he is trying to say like. 
to save the mitzvah shma, basically. <coughs> Continue. If he is afraid that the time on which one must pray Shmona Esri may also pass before he finds Tfilin, then he should pray the Shmona Esri without Tfilin. Okay, so we're going to get it. It's not, uh, it's uh, in C-15. Okay. Wait, Rabbi, but what if, let's say, for the, sh for the Shma, or like, let's say the Shmona Esri, you have enough time to do like, let's say, one brach, or just to say, you know, Shema Israel Hashem, and not the the, the paragraphs. Then should you still wait, or should you say, uh, or should you say the Shema with the congregation? Well, well, let's say in, in, in what case when uh, when the time expires. Or what? I'm I'm saying that w what's better per se, uh, to put to put to fill in on, and uh, uh, say uh, sh uh, Shema Israel. Uh, let let's say you know without the two paragraphs because that's all you have time for. Or is it better uh, to just uh, pray, uh, pray uh, with, uh, let's say, uh, pray uh, af afterwards after the congregation, uh, after the congregation ends, if you can do the whole thing. No, no, do do after the congregation the whole thing. Okay. As, as we said, it's it's very important to connect this Exodus of Egypt to the Shmona Got it. Okay. Understood. So really, uh, it's it's obvious. I mean, uh, if you if you pray long, so bad that you can answer to Kaddish, you, you can answer to Kedusha. So mm -hmm. you you're good basically. You only did not pray with them. But uh, in, uh, what we discussed here is the case when the time is going to expire. Uh, so I mean, uh, the, even for Shachris, well, let's say the latest Shachris, uh, I, I have no idea what uh, the time changes. Maybe uh, let's say I don't know, 10th or 11. So if, the, if, the, if this time, let's say he he said uh, uh, Shema before and stuff like that, and uh, now he has feeling he's not there. Whatever the situation is, so and he does not have feeling, so he can pray without feeling because the time uh, is expiring. That's it. Wow. He cannot uh, pray Shema after this certain time. Uh, quite, let's say he only has one of the feelings. Is it better to pray uh, with with the congregation or wait? Until uh, you can have two, and then pray without the congregation and have both pieces. It's a, it's an interesting question. I would say pray with one with uh, this congregation okay. because it's like two independent mitzvahs. Uh -huh. so, so you you get two mitzvahs: pray with congregation and a healthy feeling. Uh huh. Understood. So, but but don't, don't 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 like the way I see it. Like uh, try not uh, not to confuse everybody. Uh-huh. Of, of course. <laughs> of course. It's hypothetical, just in case. Yeah, yeah. So continue. Uh, lay, um, okay, so let, let's go a, a little back. So uh, it says, um, if he's afraid that the time which one must approach monastery may also pass, pass right, before he finds feeling, then he should also approach monastery without feeling. Okay. Later, when he finds feeling, he should put them on and recite the appropriate blessing upon them Okay, because uh, as we said, you have the whole day, right? And recite psalm or pray mincha while wearing them. Okay, wearing them and commentary. Regarding one who obtains feeling during the prayer. Okay, so they say, see another place. Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, however, if he does not obtain that feeling un un until the nightfall, he should not put them on, uh, on them. For for the night uh, for the night is not time of feeling. So I mean if for like well, while it's still I'm I'm, I'm not sure if, uh, like after after the sunset I would say since since it's still uh, like a little light so you can do but without without the blessings just to put it on and uh, take it off. Not in the order not not to miss miss uh, miss a mitzvah. Okay. The commentary say, according to the Torah law, the mitzvah of tefillin can be fulfilled even at night. However, the sages forbade wearing tefillin at night for the fear that one may fall asleep with them and uh, in his sleep uh, not maintain the body cleanliness as required to wear tefillin. So basically, that's, uh, based on this law, we can wear tefillin a little early, like even uh, it says the proper time for wearing tefillin this time. But uh, they say you can, in the case of need, 
without the blessing, since some authorities do not agree. So, but he can put it uh, even earlier than, than that time. And I, I was doing it in that in, in the show that I, uh, I I used to go to the shacharis and people like uh, they, they, they they were so meticulous like uh, on a second to put fill in I like, but yeah, they, they, they they were not so meticulous to not, not to talk during the shmona esrei right? <laughs> repetition of shmona but with the fill in was very meticulous so uh, I, I, I I later on explain this guy this guy by so there is no problem to I I, I don't say blessing. But uh, he said, no, no, the, the, the thing is that you confuse other people. So other people do not know, they look at you and they're going to say, uh, bless you, couldn't feel it. Mm-hmm. So uh, then, then I stopped because uh, whatever he said is what actually makes sense. Even though he, al- he announced everybody who comes, he announced the earliest fill in, I don't know, 615, whatever. He, he... So no authorities agree that you can do it uh, after nightfall? No, no, no. The, the, there are some authorities who said that you can do it even during the night, yeah. but uh, but, but uh, we, we're afraid that he's going to to fall fall asleep in there. That's oh, that's wow. the issue. So so the main reason is just because yeah. they're afraid he's going to fall asleep. So my question is then the cleanliness of the body. So basically, to, to tell the way it is, so we're afraid that he's going to pass gas. Got it. That's uh, yeah degradation. Uh, let's let's say he let's say you know he went to the bathroom. And he had an energy drink. Then, do all authorities agree that he can have uh, put on the fillin or no? Yes, I, I mean no. Okay, even, even you see the, 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 there are some authorities who say that if he is not going to fall asleep, if, if he knows himself, he was sleeping the whole day, right? He has uh, three coffees. So he's not going to fall asleep, so uh, there, there is no problem. There got it. No problem. Got it. Got it. Got it. But uh, I mean, for for example, the, this uh, night that uh, this night, the shuas night that we were going. I mean, uh, people say it's a full night, whole night long. I say, you normal? It's like uh, uh, I, f- from the time you finish eating, so we, we ate like fast. I mean, not, not fast, but uh, so we stopped 10 30. So at, at 10 30, we start learning from 10 30 until th- uh, I guess 3 30 or so. And then, then you have to prepare to, to go to the show, say all of his blessings, stuff like that, you know? So it's, it's only for, I don't know, how many, five hours? It's nothing. Mm-hmm. Wow.